We are so grateful that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Today we'll be doing a travel journal of our trip to Scotland, but I wanted to show off our new website before we got started. So pause the video, grab a cup of tea, and get cozy. We'll be journaling in no time, I promise. We recently redid our whole website for the launch of our ebook, Live Creatively, and I'm so happy with how it turned out. All I had to do was choose a new theme, a couple of new photos, and work a few days on writing the text for all the different sections. And I'm in love with the new wildreroam.com. Squarespace has made launching our shop so seamless, especially for someone like me with no coding skills at all. I was really nervous if our pre-sale would work since we're not actually going to be sending the eBooks out until November 19th, but with their commerce tools and easy to use all-in-one platform, the process went so smoothly. And for those of you who have already bought Live Creatively or pre-ordered it, we just wanted to say thank you so much. It really means the world to us and we're working really hard to make it an amazing ebook slash program slash amazing experience that we can do together. And so, yeah, we are hard at work and I promise it's going to be well worth the wait. So thank you again for making our dreams come true. But now let's journal. That's what we're all here for today. So I'm really excited to get back into this Scotland footage because it is a beautiful country and we had so much fun there. So here we are. So this was our first hike. We had gotten, we rented a car and we're driving around Scotland and we had planned to actually sleep in the car, but unfortunately it wasn't big enough for us. And so we had to figure out different places to sleep. We explored some inns, but we didn't want to give up on our big adventures that we had planned, like all the hiking and bothy exploring. So that's what we did. And I feel like when I think back on our time in Scotland, see all this like lush grass everywhere, all I can see is green. Like that is, I feel like if I feel like a feeling that I was left with, it was just this fresh air and greenness that was so profound and I don't know if I've ever really experienced anything like that. So on the right side of the page, I decided I really wanted the spread to kind of feel like that greenness. And so I went through the Nat Geos and different books that we have um, and found green places and trees and fields. And then I tried to figure out a way to layer them all together. Um, this turns out to be like a little bit of a fun puzzle trying to fit them all nicely together but I wasn't exactly sure when I started this spread what I was going to put in it but I knew for some reason this layered greenness was the only thing that I had a plan for and so I actually really like how it turned out because I feel like the layers are almost like all the different places that we saw and all the different hikes and the different moments of the hikes kind of put into something physical there that we can look back on and remember like this crazy moment. We had been hiking for hours and then got to the top and the weather really changed quickly and luckily we had the right gear with us. But yeah, I guess the thing is these journals are so special because they kind of allow me to sit with all of these memories and then now to actually make the video for you, I get to kind of put two and two together like the way that I had remembered it and the way that Lou had captured it and yeah there's something really calming about just staring at beautiful footage and I hope that you guys are feeling that now too um when I was going through the Nat Geos, I found this cow. And while we didn't see that many cows when we were in Scotland, I feel like we spent the entire time walking through pastures and we saw cows and tons of sheep, like more sheep than I have ever seen in my whole life. And so I really wanted to find a way to bring the animals onto the page because I had had so much fun in our Tino's journal um, drawing that goat. So in this one, I was like, okay, I'm going to definitely try to incorporate animals. And so as the spread unfolded, it was like, okay, we've got the green, we've got the animals. I found these photos on the left from a book I got in Venice of people walking through Venice in the rain. But since it was always raining the whole time we were in Scotland, I thought they were actually very fitting for the Scotland entry. And so it was like just finding all the components that could represent this time. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. The other thing that I realized when I was trying to think of what to talk about today was that 
It was such an interesting experience now that we've been traveling in Odi for almost two years that to travel without our van is just so different. Like we have gotten used to the comfort of having our kitchen and our pots and pans and like our pantry, having a bathroom, always having our bed and our clothes and really anything that we need, we have right there with us. And it's funny because when you're in OD and have been for a long time, sometimes, you know, you get tired of living in such a confined space and you're like, oh, this, you know, would, editing might be way easier to do in an office or I don't know, like I wish that I had a couch to sit on or a table or something like that. But then when you switch environments, it's so easy to be like, wow, I actually have so much. Like when we arrived at this Bothy, we were like, oh my gosh, we feel like we're in a mansion because we'd been walking for so long in the rain. We'd gotten so, so cold. I couldn't even be out of my sleeping bag. I made Lou cook. And it just felt so nice to be in a warm, comfortable place. And I feel like with Odie, we always have that. And so, yeah, this is all to say that, like, I feel like discomfort is sometimes relative, you know? Like, in the van, we thought things could get hard sometimes. But then when you're, like, day hiking or hiking through hiking and you're carrying all your stuff on your back and it's pouring rain you realize that like actually the van has so much for us and yeah it's not like an apartment but it's like the perfect adventure mobile and that's what we had hoped to have with the we got like a land rover thing or i forget what was it like it was a land rover so we got like this land rover to sleep in we thought but we couldn't fit and so it was really eye-opening to try to have the adventures that we like having without the comfort of a van to travel with and yeah I definitely like put things in perspective for me and made me really appreciate Odie for all the adventures he lets us have and of course there are moments that like this we actually filmed this in, in um, Germany We were there for Lou's grandma's 100th birthday party, and it was, like, so nice to have a table and a place to film that wasn't loud or windy so, like, all of my little papers wouldn't fly away. And, yeah, I guess it's just, like, when you inhabit all these different spaces like Lou and I are right now, when we're traveling or in OD or back in a house, I feel like I get to, like, appreciate each of the experiences so much more now that I've felt like some of the extremes if that makes sense it's like discomfort used to mean one thing and now it means something so much more intense because I can feel comfortable in so many more spaces and I feel like that has been one of the most transformative things about living in a van for me is that I've just gotten much more comfortable in places that used to bring me discomfort and not only like comfortable in them like I actually like enjoy them and I realized that actually when we were in Scotland because I used I while we've like really enjoyed hiking over the last I don't know five years or something when we first got started if it was raining and cold I was immediately miserable I just hated that feeling of having wet feet or I don't know just I guess it's just discomfort but then on this trip, I feel like I've gotten so much tougher and I could just look at these beautiful little sheep. Like, look at these sheep, they're so cute. And yeah, from that moment, I was looking out from the Bothy, so it was was comfortable. But when we were out in the rain, my shoes were like s- soaked full of water. I still really was actually having a great time. I, li- I remember Lou looking and he was like, oh gosh, like, are you okay? Like, I know you hate the rain, whatever. And I was like, I'm actually like having a ball. Like, I don't, like that part of me that couldn't handle the elements of the weather is gone. And like, that smile's real. Like, I look back and I'm like, it was such a fun time. And I just like really appreciated it. And I think that's only possible because we moved to the van and I had to kind of push through times that were super uncomfortable and realize that like, I'm totally fine. It's no need to like freak out if you're cold, like it will pass. And if you can't separate yourself from that discomfort, then you miss all the moments. And I feel like, yeah, that's what Scotland really showed me, like how far I've come. And I like how 
the spread for me like kind of like ca captures those moments too because it was really the bothy getting to the bothy in that rain when I realized that I was so much stronger so I wanted to do a watercolor about the bothy so that one I included and then also the sheep because I had so much fun with the goat that I really wanted to paint livestock and <laughs> oh. I really like how the sheep turned out. I used like yellow and purple um, to kind of like see if I could do the shadows in a different color and I kind of like how that turned out. And then I used this like gold marker to create a frame for the Bothy painting. Also, I should just pause and the drone photo or videos that Lou got in this trip to Scotland are mind blowing to me. I feel like I realized I was surrounded by only green things, but then when you see it from the perspective of the drone, it just like shows you how little you are in this world and uh, how remote you can get in Scotland is pretty cool. Like I feel like within an hour you could really be out in the elements and I really liked that. Um, it was definitely tougher than we had imagined to get comfortable, get like far away. Everybody says you can roam wherever you want, but that part turned out to be like a little bit difficult for us. Okay, so let me chit chat actually about the spread. So on the left page there with the sheep and then all the other things, I didn't know exactly how it was coming together. And then I just like had this green colored pencil and I first did those little lines around the sheep and then it became lines around the cow. And then all of a sudden I was just like doodling all over the page. I'm not a hundred percent sure if I like it, but I do love the right side of the page. I think with the stag on the corner and the green as the background for like the painting with the gold frame, the right page looks so good. And I love the sheep, how the sheep turned out, but the going crazy with a colored pencil last minute mindlessly. I'm not sure if I will do that again. <laughs> but yeah, that was our Scotland trip. That ticket is actually the ticket we, train ticket we took to go to our friend's wedding, which was the whole reason we went to Scotland. Um, and it was a beautiful wedding. And yeah, that's our travel journal. So one more thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And if you're looking to make your own website, go to squarespace.com slash wilderroam and get 10% off your first purchase. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. <laughs>